Kubo showed us the hammer he developed. By hitting a concrete surface with it, it can detect the strength of the concrete near the surface, as well as the degree of surface degradation and concrete delamination. The data obtained from those taps on the concrete is recorded on this device through a cable attached to the hammer. By analyzing the data on a computer, the condition of the inner concrete close to its surface can be observed on the screen. This is the concrete viewed from above. The red area is where there is a danger of delamination or separation of its composite structure due to degradation. How can you figure out the strength of concrete just by hitting it? Actually, there is an acceleration meter installed in the hammer. This is what it looks like. The moment the hammer hits the concrete, the device measures the changes in the hammer's acceleration. This is the graphic analysis. On normal concrete, the acceleration will describe a steep uphill curve and then, due to the rebound of the concrete, will gradually decrease to zero. Here we simulate a test on concrete that is in a degraded state by placing pieces of cardboard on top of the concrete. The degraded concrete absorbs the impact of the hammer, and so, as you can see, the acceleration describes a gentle curve upward. This way we can determine at a glance the level of degradation of the concrete. The catalyst for Kubo to develop his device was a railroad accident. In June 1999, part of the concrete ceiling in the Fukuoka tunnel used by a Shinkansen bullet train line detached and hit a speeding train. Fortunately, it did not cause a major accident, but the event was enough to overturn the myth of the absolute safety of concrete. I felt strongly that the time for concrete to start to fail had probably come. The life expectancy of cement concrete is 50 years. The highways and bridges built in the late 1950s to early 1960s are showing signs of age. Concrete testing technology is just what Japan needs now. The hammering test method was the most commonly used non-destructive test. An experienced engineer hits the concrete surface with a hammer and judges according to the sound. But it called for experience and did not leave a record. Kubo focused on developing a new inspection method that would be different from conventional technologies. But to measure the strength of concrete, you needed expensive equipment and the data analysis was complicated. Kubo wondered if there could be an easy way for anyone to measure concrete strength. That was when he came up with the idea of installing an acceleration meter inside the hammer, as well as designing it to be easy for anyone to use. Try hitting here. Yes. You can't hear anything, can you? It means that the impact was too weak. Still too weak. Oh, well, good. It beeped. That means that the data is recorded. I see. This is amazingly easy. Anyone can do it. This concrete testing hammer is now used in the U.S. and other countries to measure the strength of concrete structures. I believe that there is no end point in product development. If you continue to listen to your customers, you find out what doesn't work and strive to make improvements each time. Whether it be TV news, the newspaper, or whatever, it's important to view the incidents and accidents that occur with the developer's mindset, to consistently focus in on matters as a technician I think that is the starting point for a product manufacturer. <laughs>